leadership hubris or arrogance or uh, overconfidence is very common, especially in the corporate sector. If you look at data from the U.S., for example, uh, at any point in time, there is an estimated 70 or 75 percent is the figure now of uh, employed Americans who are uh, either actively or passively seeking for a job. LinkedIn, for example, reckons that 66 or 70 percent of its users could be considered passive job seekers. Okay, so people who are not actively sending their CVs to places, but they're open to better opportunities. Okay, so not totally happy with the current situation. Um, if you look at engagement data from Gallup or other companies, uh, they've been telling us for the past 10 or 15 years that only about 30% of people, Americans or people in other countries, are engaged, 70% uh, are disengaged, and that, that you, know, you can estimate how much that costs the economy in terms of lost productivity, around $300 billion in the U.S. And when you look at the drivers or causes of disengagement, they mostly have to do with poor management. Okay? Number one is always one's direct boss or supervisor. You heard the saying that people join companies, but they quit their bosses. They don't quit their uh, uh, companies. And, and of the others also have to do with poor management decisions of management ju judgment. In our own work, um, you know, we do sometimes very, very simple studies where we ask millions of uh, employees to describe their bosses or managers with one word. These are the common adjectives that uh, people provide or these are the common personality disorders that are associated with the adjectives that people provide. So they describe their bosses as arrogant, manipulative, emotionally volatile, passive aggressive, distrustful. And there's three um, uh, generic, um, let's say, highly functioning personality disorders that are commonly found in uh, managers or corporate managers. Okay, mischievous, which is a euphemism for Machiavellian, uh, colorful, which is a euphemism for schizotypical, and then bold, which is a euphemism for narcissistic. I can tell you these are using it, but when you're providing feedback to managers, you have to do it in a, in a way that is a little bit milder and sometimes show them animals that can, uh, you know, uh, portray them. Even though, for example, I mean, there's been studies recently uh, showing that uh, uh, most narcissists are actually quite happy to be labeled as such. Okay, there's, a, I think, something like a 10-study paper that was published last year which developed a one-item or one-question measure of narcissism, which the question was, are you a narcissist? And most narcissists says, say yes, and they're proud of it, okay?